Hello there. What's going on, everybody? We have got some wicked awesome Mandalorians to look at today, as well as a couple of other really special 3D printed uh, awesome customs that you can use in your dioramas or for games like Star Wars Legion or for whatever else, for role-playing or whatever else. Uh, we're going to show you a whole bunch of these, so make sure you watch all the way through. Now, these are sent out to us uh, from Josh uh, at Order 66 Designs. I'll put this information in the description if you want to check them out. These are really, really nice, and I am not, uh, I'm not exaggerating here, but you can see for yourself. Um, look at these. These are 3D printed, man. I did not know. 3D printed stuff could look this good. Uh, while you're admiring the awesome quality of this, I'm gonna tell you more about it, but let me also do a little bit of admin stuff while you're looking. Uh, this, is, this is just incredible. I could look at these all day long. Um, but there is a big new giveaway going on right now, running all month long for a $100 Amazon gift card. This is a very, very big one. Uh, so bigger than I usually do. And uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment. It's as simple as that. Um, and that is, uh, yeah, that's going to run all month long. So anybody's eligible to win, I'll be announcing that next month who is the winner. Also, uh, if you are interested in supporting the channel, there's lots of new merchandise uh, up in the, down there. So we've got a, a lot of Boba Fett stuff. We've got Sabine, if you like Mandalorians, we've got Sabine and Boba Fett merch. Also some Darth Vader stuff, some new Ahsoka stuff, all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, all right, so all right, admin stuff out of the way. Uh, thanks for checking out the links and all of that stuff. Uh, look at this. This is so cool. We got the jetpack on here, right? He's just he's flying up. He's hovering. We've got with you know it doesn't matter how tall people are now. He's also got Darth Maul style legs, right? Like he's got like he's got them. them like this guy lost both of his legs in combat, uh, and but he still survives, right? Like it, look at the detail on his chest plate, man. There's. And his helmet too. And I haven't I haven't primed or painted these guys at all yet. All I did was put them on bases. Now, a really cool thing about these guys. A really, really cool thing. Here's another one. We're gonna take another a look at this sniper variant. Different helmet, different arms, uh, different pose. Really nice rifle here. Um, one of the things that's amazing about the way that these are uh, is is their design process. You basically get like the the body sculpt and you can put there's different backpacks there's different heads there's different arms and different weapons uh and you can do all kinds of different things like i could have had a different pose i could have had just regular blasts coming out of this guy's backpack i didn't have to put the, those big streamers on there there's so many different accessories i'm gonna show you guys some of the different accessories and then we're gonna look at a, a more because we have lots more minis to look at so like we've got like, look at this. This is, um, we've got lightsabers for some of those, some light, yes, there's some lightsaber wielding characters. We've got all these different heads, right? We've got the spiky heads. We've got regular heads. We've got antenna heads, uh, heads without antennas. Um, we've got, oh my gosh, we got so many, and, and, and all these extra little effects too. Oh, you've got to take a look at all this. We've got all these different arms, right? Like here, hey, here's an arm. It's, it's a circular kind of joint. Right, and it can go, uh, you know, so it's a, because it's a ball, you can have it going up, you can have it going down. Um, there's some flame effects that can come out of some of the, the, the backpacks. All right, we've got the jetpacks here. We've got, and uh, you've got different types of melee weapons. You've got different types of uh, ranged weapons. We've got um, different holster attachments for certain characters, whether you want their blasters in their hand or elsewhere. Um, speaking of holster attachments, here's Bo Katan. Um, she, she's, I gave her one holster with the pistol in it and one holster without the pistol in it so she could be holding it. And this is all accessories. Like, this is really high quality stuff, right? I decided to put a helmet on the ground there too, but I gave her the jetpack. I gave her all of that. So she'll probably look much better once painted up. But uh, there's Bo Katan. Here, I took another guy and kind of made um, this Mandalorian a leader, but I wanted to give him a sniper rifle also, even though I already had my sniper rifle that was like holding it. So because I can point it any way I want, because you got that circular joint, I had this one going almost straight up since we have silhouettes now, right? So really cool. And he's got the kind of the, the tassel hanging down off of that arm. So, uh, and, and the cool thing is also the, their, their chest sculpts are all different. Like this guy has, you know, some, some kind of feathery, uh, you know, uh, you know, extra trophies and stuff hanging, you know, from his uniform. So like, they're not even, 
they're not like all the same. They're all totally unique. Like look at look at this guy right here. Right, he's kind of got a little bit of this the skirt aspect going on. Maybe he was a former clone or something like that, right? Uh, and he's got more trophy and, and, and some bone type of regalia hanging from his chest. Uh, different type of weapon, you know, different type of helmet also. Uh, lots of different styles. These are really, really something. Um, we also have a guy in a kneeling pose right here, right? Give him a different helmet as well. And then he's got the hand, and this hand too, right? Like, it's the hands aren't joined together, so you're not going to have the same problem of like, oh, i got to get them into the shoulders. I just slid that in and kind of put it up almost, to, you know, like just resting in there. Right? You can kind of do it however you want. I could have had it a different direction, and maybe he gripped it a little closer to the barrel, uh, you know, closer to uh, the muzzle, maybe a little bit, you know, harder up. <sighs> just awesome. Oh, man, you're going to like this one. You're going to like this one. This one might be my favorite one. This one might be my favorite one. Again, all of this is different options. This whole flame effect is just one option. Um, I did. I gave her fisted hands instead of gunned hands, right? So that they could, and I kind of just lined them up with with the flames. Um, you know, I could have had her standing and kind of been like, I could have had her standing flat and just had her kind of stepping backwards, maybe with the swords, right? Um, she's got a slightly different uh, backpack right there, so she's got like a little spark coming out. Um, and then she's got, of course, the, uh, you know, the very awesome, like, bony, spiky helmet. Uh, and, of course, her body is also different, too, because she's got some feathers hanging there. I mean, just just amazing. Amazing the options that you have with, 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 with product like this. Really, I'm really, really, really impressed, especially with how smooth and everything looks, too. Oh, we've, we've got, and we've got more. We've got, we've got more. We've got so much more. So much more to show you. Check this out. Here, here comes some more stuff. All right, so we've got ourselves a Varactyl here. This thing is magnificent. This one was actually in three different pieces, the head and the tail and the body. Uh, and it's so smooth, right? Like, you, I would not have even known, I wouldn't have guessed that this was 3D printed, right? Like, because most of the 3D printed stuff is low, that I, you know, I tend to see, I guess, isn't printed in as high a quality as this is. So, like, like, this is look look at the, those feathers, man. Look at all those feathers. They're beautiful. Whole. I mean, I want to I want to swear a little bit at how how beautiful this stuff is. And this is me I'm not gluing it perfectly together right there. That was that was me. That wasn't uh, you know. But uh, yeah, this is really really something. And of course, this is the beast that Obi Wan rode in uh, Episode Three. Uh, we also get a riding Obi Wan. Now, the cool thing, the, there's, there's a whole lot of cool stuff about here. Um, and it's important that you know he's riding, otherwise he looks like he's doing something inappropriate. So uh, we can put him on here, and there we go. Now he's now he's mounted. Uh, now, there's Obi-Wan comes with some accessories, right? We saw some lightsabers in the bag before. I could put his lightsaber on there, but I did not want his lightsaber on him. Uh, because, well, he's not really, like, like, Cody hands it to him, but then he rides away, right? So he doesn't really need it. Um, on the whole time, but also you get different head sculpts. You can go with like, um, like movie version of Obi Wan, but they also have Clone Wars version of Obi Wan. That's got like a little bit more of the Clone Wars attributes, um, and that's it. That is around here somewhere. But uh, I glued this one on already. I don't know where the Clone Wars one is. Uh, we've got uh, speaking of um, some other Clone Wars stuff. We got little acrobatic Yoda here. Yoda has some different head options too, and a little little jump stand but I didn't put Yoda on a base yet but uh but Yoda's doing some really cool stuff do you think we're gonna see Yoda in Clone Wars I think we got a chance I think we got a chance that uh there are some characters from uh the uh Old Republic available here too I think this was uh, like and, and a lot of this stuff is from I think the more recent story arcs I stopped playing Star Wars The Old Republic a long time ago um and this is, I think, that like that brother that had the, the face scar that that kind of you know took uh, you know took his you know became like this guy's son, right? Or not became his son, but is his son. Uh, so we got so we got and there's there's a lot more characters um, available from those. Uh, we've got Aura Singh right here. So uh, she is looking pretty smooth too, like not like ridgy or you know pixelated like a lot of three D printed stuff sometimes looks. This comes out looking really, really good. Um, did you say you liked Mandalorians? We've got more Mandos. Hold on. I'm going to show you some more Mandos. 
Oh, are we riding Blurgs? Have you seen The Mandalorian? Yes, we are riding Blurgs. And yeah, this is a Mando riding a Blurg. I love it. These are also pretty customizable. Um, oh yeah, you can kind of go with whatever head and arms you want on the rider. And uh, you can even customize the Blurgs' faces a little bit. Um, I, I, uh, I don't know. I think I might have put the tongue in a little wrong. I got a little line there. But if you're not, if you don't like that one, there's different, there's like, there's different Blurg sculpts also. Like, here's one with his mouth only open a little bit, right? And of course, there's a whole different rider on there. And this guy is, this, this is maybe my favorite look for this guy. He's looking that way and he's already swung his weapon. He's like, don't make me, don't make me come back. We won't have to come out here again, will we? Are we going to have a problem here, son? You know, something like that. You know, I'm like, don't call me son. What did you say? I'll call you whatever I want. You know. And then here comes this one. She's like, don't disrespect him again. Or we'll come back with greater numbers and burn your village to the ground. Now give us all your blue milk. You know, and this is a whole different blurb too. His mouth is totally closed. He's like, oh, I can't believe they're making me carry these guys around. They have jetpacks. Why do they need to ride me? <laughs> no, man, this is really, really awesome stuff. Look at that, man, Vibro Axe. I love, I love these. They are so flipping cool. These are incredibly cool. We got a few more things I want to show you too. So you're probably wondering, like, what's up with this, you know, B1 battle droid, right? He looks a little strange. Well, he's dancing. They're dancing droids. Uh, no, I'm kidding. These are not dancing droids. These are actually, if you want to decorate uh, your terrain or your bases or something like that, they're dead droids, right? Like, destroyed, like, battle. Like, there's so many, like, droid bits, right? Because, look, it's, you really want to buy, like, a whole other unit of droids and then break them up, you know? Like, you could do that, but they're also not going to be in these awesome poses, like this one. Look, look, this one is like, he's been shot. He's, his head is hanging down. He's like, ooh, power down. Right? Really cool poses for, for a lot of these uh, destroyed droids. This one lost his head. He's looking around for it. Um, this one has fallen down. You're getting great poses on this one. This one is like laying down, like head, head on the ground. Right? Um, and just a lot of really good, like this one just falling naturally, you know, but, but the arm is up a little bit. Um, very cool. And then, uh, just like half, you know, part half pieces. All right. Um, so these will look really cool painted up, you know, and, and again, the cool thing about the, the B1 battle droids that you don't have to put together, you know, one other thing that makes those really, really nice is that you just prime them and then put a wash on them and you're done. Right. Especially if they're just fodder and you got a couple extra little draw other uh, of their weapons. You can kind of set down an extra arm. Stuff. So a lot of really cool terrain fodder. Uh, you can kind of use or use it as basing material or just, uh, you know, just really cool, fun things that you can do a lot with this too. Well, all right, guys. Um, big thanks to Josh for sending all this stuff out. I think that's just about, uh, just about all of it. Um, really, really impressed with how all these turned out. Just the, the printing quality and the design quality as, as well as just the you know, the way that it's kind of uh, basically gives you the option to kind of design them. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with this. It's not just static poses. So I really love that aspect, especially with the ball joint for those arms. I love them so much. If you're a Mandalorian fan, you're going to love these. So again, big thanks to Josh from Order 66 Designs. Be sure to check them out uh, because uh, you're not going to be disappointed. This is great, great looking stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, it'll be fun painting these too, but gosh, they look so good. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, something looks so good, you're almost intimidated to paint it. And that's kind of how these look uh, a little bit. But maybe I'll give it a shot when I'm feeling brave. All right, guys, that's all I've got. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to, uh, if you liked the video, give, you know, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can check out some of the merch in the links below or even Patreon. Uh, big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys are amazing and help make this all possible. So thank you all so much. And as always, have a great day.